everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on Jeffree Star's Skin Frost, the shades Ice Cold and Peach Goddess. Before you guys go off on me and call me a hypocrite, I did purchase these prior to the whole Jeffree Star incident and I did mention in that video that I posted that I would be still doing reviews on products that I would already purchased or already filmed. I did film a review on these already. I felt like I wanted to redo the review to make it clear that I don't support Jeffree Star. I don't support anything he stands for. However, I've already purchased these and I'm going to give them a fair review um, regardless. But I personally not going to be buying anything new. So aside from these skin finishes and the Beauty Killer palette, you won't be seeing anything else from me regarding Jeffree Star. The shades I have remaining from the four that I picked up, which was the which was the four original um, Skin Frost that Jeffree Star released. These are the two other shades I picked up. I already did a review on the first shades, Mint Condition and King Tut. If you'd like to see those reviews, I will leave a link below. The first shade is Ice Cold, and this is a white, bright highlight. It really reminded me of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Starlight, which is also a bright white silvery shade. So if you're looking for a highlight in the family of silver and you do not want to support Jeffree Star, Anastasia Beverly Hills offers a very similar comparison. This product is quite large at 0.53 ounces and can double as an eyeshadow. You can apply this dry or you can apply it wet. The second shade is Peach Goddess. This is a pinky peachy shade and this is also similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera. They have the same color scheme although Peach Goddess is a bit more peachy whereas Riviera is a bit softer. Both are very flattering on the skin. Again, this product can be used wet or dry and this product doubles as an eyeshadow. While the packaging is cute and the product is a decent size, the overall drama that's been surrounding Jeffree Star is not something, again, not something I really want to support. I'm not throwing shade. I am not throwing hate. I will not judge you if you decide to continue purchasing from him. I, however, am ceasing my support of him, meaning I will not buy his products anymore. So um, I did notice on my other video that some of you guys, that a few, that some people were saying that I was throwing hate and I was throwing shade. Uh, excuse me, I didn't know that if I decide not to spend money on Jeffree Star that I was a hater. Since when do I owe Jeffree Star any of my money? Bitch doesn't pay my bills. So guys, did you pick up the Jeffree Star Skin Frost? If you did, after the whole scandal, did you throw it out? Did you keep it? Did you use it? Um, what did you guys do with your Skin Frost if you disagree with all of Jeffree Star's actions? If you haven't picked up these Skin Frost, is this something you'd pick up or not? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.